Yay! You've got a water feeling? Yeah. You've got a one? Night. <laughs> oh. Look. Holy fuck. Okay. Oof, here it is, boys and girls. It was a long time due. It was like two years ago we found this concretion and only now I will try to prep it. I'm a bit worried about it because I know it's not a complete specimen. The question is how incomplete? It's very possible that we have only <laughs> like this much of ammonite in there. So yeah, let's go ahead and check. Okay, we did cut it off, but as you can see, there is a crack formed fr through the whole piece together with the ammonite and yeah. So it's quite dangerous to proceed, but we still will do it because I still think uh, there will, could be a part of center inside because here we won't fight anything and from this side there is also the end of the ammonite because this is the shell and under the shell there is nothing, I already checked. This side is also busted, so this piece is 
probably will stay something close to this. I just will remove a little bit more matrix. But before that, I wanted to show you something. Yeah, it is the top of the ammonite that we did cut out whilst cutting this rock. And I will show you that ammonite later because I did split it open. <laughs> and there was almost all ammonite just without the top until I already did some reconstructions. So result will be at the end of the video. Now let's proceed to remove some more matrix near the crack and let's hope it won't shatter. Yeah, unfortunately I think we are done and this piece will be staying as as this because in the matrix there is no more ammonite it was incomplete just a outer kill of an ammonite the middle is missing and everything else is also missing this part is basically the start of the ammonite so yeah this piece has some great colors iridescence everywhere too bad there is a fracture and too bad it's not a complete specimen but it still will look good as a display piece will be standing in a bathroom or somewhere <laughs> just like this also uh, the that piece that we did cut out that uh, i was showing you this mark before this was the other part of it and i also did prep it there is one iridescent ammonite and there is another one crushed middles incomplete but still quite cool, eh? <laughs> and yeah, so I was thinking about this thing, right? Let me show you. That's what was inside of it. It was just like this, basically. <laughs> so I did take it out of the rock because, uh, yeah, as you guessed, I did cut out the top of this piece. So the very top, I still have it but the fatness of the blade did cut this part so i did a reconstruction on it and it turned out like this so basically the shape i think is correct we are missing some of the colors on the chalky substance i did prep it with reconstructed with so i will make the colors uh, fit more into the whole piece but this one is probably my biggest uh, most complete ammonite from lithuania and it have this outside middle which is transparent and uh, when you face the light it's basically shines through it so that's really cool i love this piece too bad i did cut it off but i didn't know it was inside still it was my first attempt at reconstruction i think it's not terrible just you know the color scheme needs to be more intact with the rest of the body either way i'm quite happy <laughs> with this piece it's like really good so yeah that rock that tomac found two years ago or something like that turned out to be a really good piece with um, the biggest ammonite was incomplete but inside was few more so yeah really happy <laughs> with that, that rock either way uh, next video will be a ember preparation so let me know in the comments what kind of preparation you want uh, with the insect inclusion because i have quite a few of those waiting for me or gem grade so yeah let me know in the comments thanks for watching and see you next time bye